Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Ivano TV. So guys, uh, kuna hii kesi yenye inaendelea ya kesi ya nani ya Gloria. Kesi ya Gloria si yeti kwa familia kwangu guys. Tumekuwa na Anita Kadesa, tumekuwa na Mary, tumekuwa na Leonida. Leonida alipatanga accident hapa Saudi Arabia na akaambiwa assign kitu. Kumbe alisign akasema yeye hataki kulipwa na akosawa hiyo kitu ikamfunga wakamlipia ticket akaenda Kenya saa hii as we speak Leonida huwa ananipigia simu akaniambia mgongo ime, imerudi tena kumuuma mgongo inamuuma so guys kuna watu wenye wananiambia i should not follow these stories but Yaani nataka wa Kenya wasome kupitia hizi stories. Listen again. You remember this Anita Kadesa? Anita Kadesa angekufia Saudi Arabia na mlisikia vile anchendu wake alisema. Aliambia Anita uchunge ama uende tu Kenya ukiwa kwa casket. Saa hizo Anita ako ICU hata angeweza kuongea alikuwa anaongea hivyo yani kustamara lakini Mungu akampigania akaenda Kenya akiwa kwa wheelchair na hakulipwa na mtu kumbuka kwamba Anita alifosiwa kusain alikuwa anafosiwa kusain kikaratasi akakataa ndio akachapwa mpaka akaparalyze lakini sio kuparalyze kabisa kabisa Muliona huyu Anita mwenye naongelelea hapa akarudi Kenya akiwa kwa wheelchair Ika happen tu kwa Mary Alikuwa anaitwa Mary Wanchiko if I'm not wrong Guys I do file each and everything I do file each and everything whichever happens here in Saudi Arabia. Mary Wanjiku alitupwa na boss wake tu hapa Saudi Arabia. Kutoka third floor. I don't want to know. Mimi unajua it's okay. Ni they are my sisters wakiwa hapa. Maybe hata kama hawaongei ukweli I don't know. But hakuna mtu angetaka ajirushe aumie akue kiwete. Na at the same time hakuna mwarabu. Okay, mimi I'm not siding with our Kenyans, I'm not siding with our uh, with Arabs or I'm not siding with the Angels, but I'm trying to pass some messages. Mkikosa kunielewa it's okay. Kuna uh, Hakuna mwarabu atakutoa Kenya. Akuje akurushe third floor. Hakuna mwarabu atakutoa Kenya akuja akurushe. Wakati ambao serikali ya Saudi Arabia inajua wewe uko na kadama fulani. Serikali ya Kenya inajua wewe uko na kadama fulani. Saudi Arabia kuna sheria. Guys sometimes I do think big and I do my own research too. Kwa sababu I've tried to talk with a uh, boss wa Gloria na huyo boss alikuwa anaongea na confidence and please mark my words I'm not siding with anyone. Huyo boss ameniambia ako na videos na kwa sababu guys ilikuwa nataka apate namba yangu kwa sababu nilikuwa nimempigia na landline sitakangi watu wakijua kama niko Saudi Arabia akaniambia i can send you the videos i have the videos na akaniambia i i i reported the case to the office gloria ran away at Gloria alikimbia one week ago kutoka kwa nyumba yangu na al, alijirusha alijirusha na nikajaribu kuongea na Gloria na Gloria nikamwambia ofisi zote zina, zimemkwa, zimemkwa, zimemkana lakini guys Gloria akaniambia shati yenye alikuwa amevaa ati wali exchange ya airport sijui kuna karata ilifanywa hapo 
sikuelewa vizuri hapo akaniambia hiyo sio tishati yake tishati yake ilienda na msichana mwingine Gloria akaniambia unajua mimi mimi mnaweza kuniona yes mimi ni msichana mdogo but mimi naweza kuwa na akili kubwa I'm sorry to say these guys I'm not saying it to hurt someone but maybe to pass some information Na guys before we go far ninataka wa Kenya tufunguke akili especially Kenyans in Gulf countries let us try to have one voices let us try to raise our voices because guys ukiangalia wale watu wanaendanga mtu anakuja Kenya akiwa mzima anarudi ana mtu anatoka Kenya akiwa mzima anafika Saudi Arabia anakuwa kiwete anarudi Kenya akiwa kiwete lakini hakuna hata sheria ishachukuliwa so nilikuwa naongea na Gloria Gloria nikamwambia Gloria please naomba uniambie ukweli kila nikaeka live ilikuwa live kila mtu akasikia Gloria akaniambia wamekuwa wakisumbuana na huyo mama alikuwa anataka aende akafanye kazi kwa nyumba ya mama ya Waiguru na akakataa. So akiwa kwa rumu yake Waiguru akakuja akamurusha kwa dirisha. Na nikaenda pale kwa dirisha, hebu niwaonyeshe guys. Nikakuja hapa kwa dirisha mpaka ni, nimekuja mpaka hapa kwa dirisha, nikafungua hii dirisha. Teni nifungue, nimefungua hii dirisha. Nikaambia glo glo dirisha za Saudi Arabia zinakaanga hivi. Alikuja akakurusha na ni uh, akaniambia dirisha zetu hazina ako kachuma. Unaona? Akaniambia hivyo. So ukapata uh, wakati ambao naongea na ofisi ya sijui ni chude ama ni whatever hii ya Saudi Arabia wanasema glo ayuko kwa system. Najaribu kuongea na ofisi ya Kenya ambayo inajiita Umal Investment Limited, wananiambia Glo ayuko kwa system. Najaribu kupiga hizi namba za Saudi Arabia za hii ofisi nyingine inajiita Ijaz, wananiambia we can't find that, that person in our system. Guys, mi nikakuwa stranded. Nitaanzia wapi kupigia nini Kenya Embassy? Pia nyinyi guys alafu nikakaa hivi nikaona since I'm in Saudi Arabia kuna wale watu wanakujanga wananiambia ukweli ukweli mtu anakuja ananiambia Ivano mimi niliraipiwa Ivano mimi sijatumiwa mshahara for three months kwa sababu nilifanya hivi na hivi kuna watu uwa, watu wengi sana na hata mimi siwajui siwajui So anakujanga wananielezea kila kitu, halafu tunamaliza story. Kama ni ukweli. Kama story aieleweki, hiyo story huwa inanikalia ngumu. Kumbuka mimi stakangi mtu akijua kama niko Saudi Arabia hata nikichukua simu hivi nipigie boss wako. Mi namwambia anga niko Kenya, mimi na tete anga wa Kenya wenye wako Saudi Arabia. Na tunaelewana tu, watu wananijua wala nishawasaidia wananijua. Lakini hii kesi iko na changamoto wa Kenya. Uh, I've tried to my level best. Nikaongea na ofisi zote, nikaongea na boss na kila kitu nilikuwa nawaekea hapa wazi, kila mtu alikuwa nasikia. I tried to my level best nikatafuta mpaka hospitali yenye hata mku wa mnajua nikapata ambayo ni King Fahad I tried again nikapata glow na tukaongea live kila mtu akaona lakini guys wacheni niwaambie kitu ikifanyika hapa Saudi Arabia ikuwe lesson to all Kenyans and I'm sorry to say this guys na msinichukulie kwa ubaya na kama kweli utapatwa na shida na sikuombe upatwe na shida guys kuja kwa Ivano muelezee Ivano ilikuwa hivi na hivi hata kama ni wewe uko na makosa ndio sasa utapata kusaidika haraka at least nitajua vile nitahando huyo mwarabu wako at least nitajua vile nitahando ofisi yako so please guys 
Uh, tumeona wa Kenya wengi sana wenye wameenda Kenya wakiwa na, na wheelchair. Wengine wameenda hata wametolewa sijui macho kidini. Eh? Lakini kidini, kidini ni ule jamaa mwenye na Edward. Edward tu ndio alikuwa ametolewa kidini. Nayo na ilisemekana ni wazazi wake walikuwa wamesema uh, wali sign wakasema it's okay na wakapewa pesa. Lakini zile kesi zote mpaka kesi ya Beatrice Waruguru mwenye alikuwa ametolewa amepasuliwa tumbo, ametolewa macho, ametolewa uh, inaitwa ajeni kidini figo. Hakuna hata hakuna hata justice ya hao wa Kenya wote ishapatikana. Anita Kadesa akaenda nyumbani na wheelchair. Watu wakakuja kwa social media justice for that girl hakuna justice ilipatikana mpaka wa leo. So my voice is what if we start raising our voices for our fellow Kenyans? Kwa sababu ukiangalia sasa kama kweli Gloria alitupwa na Mwarabu. Huyo Mwarabu ni kumaanisha amezima nyota yake kabisa. Gloria alitoka Kenya akiwa mzima, anarudi Kenya leo hii akiwa kiwete. Nani huyo mwingine alirushwa? anaitwa Mary Wanjiku mpaka Mary Wanjiku sasa hivi anatumianga Pambas. Leonida ndio huyo alivunjika shingo, alikuwa amevunjika mgongo. Alidhani amepona hata alikuwa ananiambia nimtafutie agent lakini mgongo ukaanza kumuuma tena. Leonida ni yatima. Guys, what are we gonna do for our fellow Kenyans at least their voices can be heard. Mtu anafaa kulipwa. Mtu anafaa kulipwa kama ameumia kweli akiwa kwa mwajiri wake. Huku kuna sheria. Anyway guys, acheni tumalizia hapo. Mimi sitaki kuongea mengi. Acheni tu tufike Kenya na tutaonana inshallah Mwenyezi Mungu akipenda kama atapenda. Akuweke hai, aniweke hai tuonane. Si ndio? Guys, I love you so much and thank you so much for your support. Let's pray for our fellow Kenyans. Wherever you are, tamka kitu kuzu wa Kenya wenye wako Saudi Arabia. Sio raisi. Sio raisi. Maombi yata peke yake haitoshi, my friend. Jifunze kutoa fungu la kumi. Jifunze hata kutoa thanksgiving. Unaambia tu mungu. Mungu hii sandaka nimeitoa kwa sababu umenifanya hivi na hivi. Jifunze hata kusaidia mtu mwenye anataka msaada wako. Sio lazima usaidie mtu na pesa na unga ama nini. Hata maneno tu peke yake inatosha. Guys, hacheni tumalizie hapo. May what you have been praying for be answered. May God protect all Kenyans in Saudi Arabia. Watu wengi wako hospitalini. Wengine mili yao iko pale shemeshi mochari. Hata haijulikani. Leo hii as we speak, Rose Mumbua Muli amepotelea Saudi Arabia for more than two years. Familia yao from Machakos County wanalia. Anyway guys, subscribe to my channel, share, like and don't forget to turn on the notification bell let me know what you think about these incidents at the comment section kwani tumekosea wapi are we not supposed to fight for our rights huh? we as kadamas guys bye